Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli and today our topic is how to create or update Bravo contact on Elementor form submission. So here I'm running an online retail business and for my business I have already created an Elementor form for my subscription of my business. So here what I want to do is that whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission through Elementor form for the subscription that automatically by using that detail of that form submission I want to create or update a new contact in my Bravo account so that I can send some personalized email with promotions and marketing offers to all my contacts. So here I want to do this automatically and for that what I want to do is I want to build a connection between Elementor and Bravo. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pavli Connect. So Pavli Connect is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pavli Connect, whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission through Elementor form, then automatically I will either create or update an existing contact in my Bravo account. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can create or update Bravo contact on Elementor form submission. So as an owner of an online retail business, I can enhance my customer engagement by linking my Elementor form with Bravo. And now whenever a customer submits their information through my site's contact or subscription form, the details are automatically created or updated in Bravo. So this will be ensuring that I have the latest contact information to send personalized promotions and updates. And by streamlining this process, I can focus more on growing my business and less on manual data entry. So here what I want to do is I want to connect Elementor form with Bravo and now with this connection what I want to do is that automatically whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission through Elementor form then with all the detail of that form submission I will either create a new contact or I will update the existing contact in my Bravo account. So here I want all this to happen automatically and for that I need to build this connection without any coding and programming skills just with the help of Pavli Connect and I need to set up an automation between Elementor form and Bravo. So here I'm going to use Pavli Connect for building this connection and this automation and for using Pavli Connect I need to open a new tab and I need to search for pavli.com slash connect in my browser and it will take us to this landing page of Pavli Connect. Now here in the landing page I have these two options of sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pavli Connect then you can just click on this sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get 100 free tasks every month. Or if you already have an account or you are an existing user, then you can just click on sign in. And you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pavli offers and we are going to use Pavli Connect here. For that, I just need to click on this X and Now button under Pavli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pavli Connect. Now here in the dashboard, we need to create a new workflow and for that I'm going to click on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to create or update Bravo contact on Elementor form submission. Now what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here in this tab, I'll find all the folders that I have in my Pavli Connect account. And here I need to use this particular folder of automation. So I'm going to select that and now I need to click on create and this will take us to this most important window for our workflow and here in this window I have these two boxes of trigger and action. So trigger and action are the two main principle on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action is just going to follow that. So here in my workflow, I need to first set up my trigger and here for setting up my trigger, I need to search for my trigger application. So here in my trigger application, I'm going to use Elementor. So I'm going to search for that and I need to select Elementor here. Now here I have to give the trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new form submission is going to be my trigger event. So I'm going to select that. And now I need to connect Elementor with Pavli Connect in my workflow. And for that, I need to use this Vabook URL. So this Vabook URL is going to work as a bridge between Elementor form and Pavli Connect. Now with this Vabook URL, what is going to happen is that whenever I'm going to get a new form submission through my Elementor form, then automatically the detail of that form submission will be sent here in Pavli Connect. Now here for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. 
And first I need to copy this Vabook URL. And now I need to take you to my Elementor form. And I have Elementor as a plugin in my WordPress account. And I have already created a subscription form by using Elementor. So this is my subscription form that I created in WordPress by using Elementor. Now here what I need to do is I need to connect this form with Pabli Connect so that I can get all the details of the form submission in Pabli Connect. So here for connecting this form, I need to click on this pencil icon button. And here I need to scroll down. And in this, I have this option of actions after submit. So I need to open this tab. And here in this tab, I need to add my action. So here I need to search for my action. And here my action is going to be Vabook. So I need to search for that. And I need to select that or I need to add that as my action. Now that I have added my action, I have this new tab of Vabook. So I need to open this tab. And here in this tab, I have this option of Vabook URL. So here in the place of Vabook URL, I need to add my Vabook URL that I've copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And I have added my Vabook URL successfully. Now what I need to do is that I have filled all the required details. I need to save all the changes. So I'm going to click on publish. And here I have successfully added my Vabook and I have connected this form with Pabli Connect. Now that I have added my Vabook, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, we can see it is waiting for Vabook response. So for getting this Vabook response, I need to create a new sample submission or I need to create a test submission. So here for getting this Vabook response, what I need to do is I need to create a new form submission by using my Elementor form. And as I will create a new form submission, then automatically I'm going to get that response here in Pabli Connect. So for getting this Vabook response, I'm going to take you to my Elementor form. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview this form. And here this is my subscription form. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new subscription by filling out this form and I need to fill all the detail of my subscriber. So here I have to give the first name and here my first name is going to be John. I'm going to give the last name that is going to be Doe. I have to give the email and that will be John Doe at the rate padlitudes.com. Now I have given my email address. So I'm going to give the random mobile number. Now I have added the mobile number. I'm also going to give the city that is going to be Bhopal. Now I have added all the required detail of my subscriber. Now I'm going to click on send. And here I have successfully created this new form submission. And as I've created the submission, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see as I've created a new form submission, I have received all these details of my form submission here in Pabli Connect. So here I have all these details of my form submission and I have the detail of my subscriber. So I have the first name that is John. I have the last name that is Doe. I have the random mobile number of my subscriber. Also I have the email address that is John Doe at the rate padlitudes.com and I have the city that is Bhopal. So here we can see I have received all these details of my form submission and my subscriber from my Elementor form. And now that every time I'm going to receive a new form submission through my Elementor form, then I'm going to get that response here in Pabli Connect. Now here I have received all these details of my form submission. Now what I want to do is I want to automatically use all these details. And by using these details, I want to create a new contact in Bravo or I need to update the existing contact. So if this contact will exist in my Bravo account, then automatically I want to update that. And if that contact does not exist, then I want to create a new contact in Bravo. So for doing this automatically, what I need to do is I need to set up my action step. And here my action application is going to be Bravo. So I'm going to search for that. And I need to select Bravo here. Now I'm going to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab. And here create or update contact is going to be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to connect Bravo with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting Bravo with Pabli Connect, I need to give a domain and the API key. So here my domain is already filled and now I need to give my API key. So for getting this API key, what I need to do is I need to go to my Bravo account and I need to get my API key from SMTP and API page. And as I will get on that page, I'm going to get my API key and I need to paste that here in this tab of API key. So as I have already logged into my Bravo account in my browser, so I can directly open this hyperlink by clicking on this button. And it will take me to SMTP and API page. And here what I need to do is I need to create a new API key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this generate a new API key. And now I'm going to first give a name to my key and I'm going to name it as new contacts. So I'm going to click on generate. And here we can see I've generated this new API key. 
So I'm going to copy this from here. I'm going to close this window and I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. Now that I have copied my API key, so I'm going to paste that here. And now I have filled all the required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save. And here I have successfully connected Brevo with Pabli Connect in my workflow. Now for creating or updating a new contact, what I need to do is I need to fill all these details. So here I'm going to fill all the required details and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the detail of my subscriber that I've received as a response from my Elementor form and automatically from that response I'm going to get all the required detail of my subscriber and I'm going to map those details here in these tabs. So here for that I need to use mapping. So mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping I need to click here. I'm going to open this response of Elementor and here this is the email address of my subscriber. So I'm going to map this. And now I have these two tabs of do you want to use email blacklisted and here I can either choose true or false to blacklist an email address. So if I want to blacklist this then I can select true here but I don't want to blacklist this email so I'm going to select false. And now I have this option of do you want to use SMS blacklisted. I also don't want to use that so I'm going to select false. And now I have to select the list where I want to create my contact. So I'm going to open this tab and here in this tab, I'll find all the lists that I have in my Bravo account and I can select any particular list where I want to create my new contact. So here I have this particular list of new inquiries. So I'm going to select this. And in this particular list, I'm going to create new contact or I'm going to update my contacts. Now here I have this option of update enable. Here again, I can choose true or false to facilitate updating the existing contact in the same request here. And here I need to select true so that I can update the existing contact in my Bravo account. So I'm going to select true here. And now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to give the first name and the last name of my subscriber. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to open the response of Elementor. And here this is the first name. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I'm going to map the last name. And now here I have all these other tabs too. But these are not the required details and also these are not the details that I have received from my Elementor form. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fill these details. I'm only going to use the details that I have received from my response of Elementor form submission and I have mapped those details here in these tab. So if you want to fill all these other details too, you can do that too. But I'm not going to fill those details. And now here we can see I have filled all the required details and I have mapped all those details here in these tabs. Now that I have mapped these details, I have made all these details dynamic. Now what will happen is that every time I'm going to receive a new form submission through Elementor, then automatically all these details that I have mapped here will get replaced with the new subscriber detail in the real time. And for every new form submission that I'm going to receive through Elementor, I will create or update a new contact in Bravo. Now that I have filled all the required details, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on save and send test to get button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and here I have received this ID. So this is my contact ID that I've just created in my Bravo account. So I have successfully created a new contact in Bravo by using all the detail of my form submission that I have received through Elementor form. And now to check whether I've created a new contact or not, let me take you to Bravo. Now here in Bravo, I'm going to go to contacts. And here in contacts, we can see I have just created this new contact that is named as John Doe. I have the first name that is John, I have the last name that is Doe and I'm going to open this contact. And here in this contact, we can see I have received this new email address that is John Doe at the rate pablitudes.com. So here I have successfully created this new contact in Bravo and I have created this contact automatically by setting up this automation between Elementor and Bravo. So here I have created this contact by using all the detail of my Elementor form submission that I have received through my subscription form from Elementor. And as I've received all those details, I have automatically created a new contact in Bravo. Now here I've successfully created this automation between Elementor and Bravo. And now with every new form submission that we are going to receive through Elementor, it will automatically create or update a new contact in Bravo with all the detail of the new form submission. So here I've created this automation and this connection between Elementor and Bravo with the help of Pabli Connect. So let me take you to Pabli Connect. So here with Pabli Connect, I have connected Elementor and Bravo to automatically create or update Bravo contact on Elementor form submission. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Elementor 
and my trigger event was new form submission. Then I have set up my actions tab and my action application was Bravo and my action event was create or update contact. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this with Pavli Connect. If you want to reach out to us, then you can email us at support at the rate pavli.com. If you have any issues or queries related to our workflow, then you can check the forum link. And if you have any issues related to the pricing of Pavli Connect or Pavli, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.